how to use an open source program called Audacity. This is what the icon looks like right here. And open it up. What Audacity does is basically uh, record music, your voice, um, whatever you want to record. Very simple. You can also import music. And I use it often to make podcasts because you can expo export um, whatever you create as an mp3 and there's a few other choices as well. Today I just want to show you just a couple of basics. Like any other recorder, it has a pause button, play, stop, rewind or skip to start, fast forward or skip to end, and record. So let's record something so we can play with it. Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Audacity. Hit the stop button and let's rewind and play. Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Audacity. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things. We have some dead air here and dead air here where I was not speaking. And if we just click and drag to highlight that, press the scissors, we've gotten rid of that dead air. And you can use that part of editing to even cut out a mistake you might have in the middle and re-record. Okay, I'm going to show you now that we can start a new track if I want to add something to this and it will not overwrite this, it'll just start a new track. And then I'm going to show you how to use the time shift tool. Okay, and now we have two tracks. Now the time shift tool is this right here. If I press that, it allows you to click and drag your recording anywhere that you would like. So I'm going to put it right there. And if we rewind and play... Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Audacity. And then I'm going to show you how to use the time shift tool. And there you go. And again, I can go back to my select tool, get rid of this empty space, get the scissors, and there we are. Now if you are, uh, let's do a third track, just because I want to show you something. I'm going to hit rewind and then watch what happens if I just hit the record button now. Today okay, I want to, whoa, to program called I'm going to hit stop. See how they're, they're going to play and that's going to cause uh, interference with this right here. So, if you want to get rid of a track because it's not good, you just hit the X right there. And I'll show you. If you mute this and you mute this, now you can record a third track and it won't interfere. And this is how you record a third track. Stop. Use my time shift tool move it over by just clicking and dragging and now I can rewind and play. Oh, what happens if we want to hear it? You have to hit the mute button again to take the mute off. Now I want to show you one more thing before we're out of time and that is how to um, export this. Say we're all done and we want to put this into an mp3. You go to file export. It's going to give us several options, but I personally really like the MP3, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to call it testing. And put it anywhere you want. I'm going to leave it on the desktop and click save. This allows you to give it tags and the artist name, album title. You want to get real fancy. For right now, I'm just going to say OK and leave that blank. And we're going to see how this mixes right down. It's all done. And right here is our MP3, just testing. That's all there is to it. I can double click on that. It will open right up and play. Well, look for more lessons in Audacity. This was just a couple of basic things, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.